it's Walt K4 OGO. I'm on the beach in Virginia Beach, Virginia. I'm at a beach called Croatan. It's kind of a really cool place. It's um, the resort area of Virginia Beach. It's just about a half a mile that way. The Outer Banks of North Carolina, 30, maybe 35 miles that way. It's kind of a neighborhood beach. It's a really cool place. Today, I'm gonna put up an antenna and I'm gonna test the Team Tenna 49 to one in-fed half wave transformer. We're going to give it a shot, so stick around. Okay, here's what we're working with today. I've got, uh, if you saw my last video, I made this thing a sand spike. Um, it is basically a three inch PVC pipe with a uh, reducer down to a two, two inch PVC pipe. I did do a little mod on it. I cut an angle in it to help me get it into the sand a little bit easier. Um, I'll have my Zygu G90, so I'll be running 20 watts. I have the DX Commander travel pole. That'll give me enough room to get a true half wave 20 meter vertical. So this in-fed half wave will be a true in-fed half wave. Uh, I've got the wires already cut. Got one cut to half of wave for 20 meters in the general portion. And I've also got a 5% of that. It's a 5% of uh, that same distance uh, cut for a small counterpoise. There's my battery. So um, there's the setup. Let's put it all together. Check it out. If you're interested in this transformer, I purchased it on eBay. 10 antennas. I got it for $34.95 plus shipping. I also build all of my antennas out of standard monster speaker cable I get at Walmart. This antenna was built like this. A halfway vertical wire in the general area of the 20 meter band. And I also put a 5% wavelength small counterpoise down at the bottom. Okay, here it is. All set up just amazes me how quick this DX Commander travel pole goes up. I'm going to go up and check it out. This thing really does go up very easy. I usually just extend the pole, lay it over my uh, beach chair, tape the wire to it, then drop it in the uh, sand spike and attach the un, un It's really that simple. Okay, so there's the 49 to 1 Team Tennis un, -un in fed half wave transformer there's my uh coastal waves and wires sand spike as we're going to call it there's the wire headed way up to the top of the dx commander travel pole so we're going to give it a shot see if we can get some dx today wish me luck all right let's do an swr scan on this thing just check out what this antenna looks like on swr here wow just wow how amazing is that that's awesome that's pretty awesome uh five nine into uh, virginia beach virginia 73. that didn't take long cut it on italy right off the bat pretty cool Okay, it seemed like it had a direct pipeline into Italy. Made quite a few CUSOs there. Also made a nice CUSO up to uh, Nova Scotia, so straight up the Atlantic coast. A lot of uh, things going on on 20, and I just uh, didn't want to get sit there and get into the pileups. So I figured I'd, hey, I'd give it a try on 17 and maybe 15. Okay, here's the uh, SWR on 17. As you can see, it's it's workable. With the tuner, this is workable. Here's the SWR on 15. I think we can work with that too with the tuner. On 17, I made QSOs with Italy, Belgium, Switzerland, and this really cool one with Northern Ireland. Kilo 4, officers, I'll offer your 5 main plus 10, Roger. Uh, you're five nine plus ten. I'm on the beach in uh, Virginia Beach, Virginia, with just twenty watts in a wire. Roger, Roger, Roger. You're sounding great yourself there. What are you running? 
Uh, running ES, 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 well, you're doing the work, then that Yagi must be pointed right at me because, like I said, I just have a Zygu G90 with a 20, 20 watts, and I just got a, a DX Commander travel pole in the air with a wire on it. I'm pointing your direction, surely, on your 5 15 on the peak, Roger. Oh, that's great news. That's great news. Thanks for taking my call there. I really appreciate it. Okay, Walker. Well. Over to 15 meters where I made a couple really cool contacts. The first one was with YouTuber KP4PUA in Puerto Rico. Uh, roger, Roger, I have you 5'5. Five five. I'm uh, 20 watts on the beach in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Yes, I'm from Virginia, making a fine trip, and he's got a 5'6", 5'6". Making a fine trip to Puerto Rico, my friend. Oh, that's excellent, that's excellent. You're even stepping up that time. You're like more like a 5'9 now. I guess the band's just kind of picking up a little bit. But thanks for uh, th taking my uh, call here. Like I said, I'm just sitting on the beach portable with a uh, Zygu G90, 20 watts, and a uh, half wave up in the air, just a wire. Yes, yeah, that's doing an excellent job, my friend. Uh, he's making it trip to Puerto Rico. Sounding beautiful, my friend. I thank you, 73, K4 OGO, we're out. Yes, sir, thank you so much, my friend. Later, I'm, I'm making a little video, so later I'm going to put them on my YouTube channel. Uh, you can check it out, my friend. Hey, that's funny. I'm making a YouTube video, too, for my video, for my channel. My uh, channel is called Coastal Waves and Wires. I, you're going to be on my video as well. Hi, right, yes, sir, yes, sir. So, uh, uh, the name is Coastal Wires? Coastal Waves and Wires. Yes, sir, my friend. I will check it out, my friend. Thank you so much. Take care. 73. 73. My final contact of the day was on 15 meters and was probably my favorite. It was Her Majesty the Queen of Denmark's special event station. What a great, great thing to just happen while you're sitting on the beach. Uh, QSL, you are 5'9". I'm 20 watts portable on the beach in Virginia, USA. Thank you very much for the 5 and 9 on the beach of the world, Virginia. Have a great Sunday. Thank you for this fine contact. At Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar, Oscar Zulu, 5 oh, Queen, 73. 73, thank you. Thank you, Oscar. Okay, this antenna is definitely going to be on the, uh, the keeper list for me. i got to be honest with you. I made this thing... Uh, half wave for 20 meters and I came out here on the beach thinking I was just going to go to town on 20 meters and that was it. I honestly had more fun on 17 and 15. The band was quieter. It was easier to get through. Yeah, I had to use the tuner to do it. This thing tuned up, I mean, on 20, no need for the ATU. But on 17 and 15, I was really surprised. I know I, you know, like I said, I thought I was going to come out here all morning and just work 20 meters, but when I went and checked and saw the SWR was low enough to use the tuner and then do it, uh, man, what a what a blast. That was really great. You know, I know the band conditions had a lot to do with it, but uh, I really enjoyed it. And it, like I said, this uh, this uh, 10 tennis uh, box here, the, the Transformer, definitely a keeper. I, I would highly recommend getting one there inexpensive and they're well built you can tell and I'm really pleased I don't know the guy that built it I just saw it on eBay and bought it and I'm out here trying it and I'll tell you what I'm glad I did anyway I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please ring the bell and subscribe I like getting out on the beach and doing this even on a chilly day like today it's starting to warm up now though it's about 60 degrees Fahrenheit when I started out it was like 39 but I'm uh, having a great day and I hope you do too anyway I'm K4 OGO Walt 73.